Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is William Brown, and my guest with me today is Savia Savan. We are live at FYE in Clifton, New Jersey, promoting the Wonder Woman movie and also promoting cosplay and movies. How are you doing today? I'm very well. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, once again, FYE home of entertainment needs and of course this lovely phone call wall so miss sophia tell it can you tell the audience and us um cosplay what is your interpretation of cosplay um cosplay is basically i mean it stands for costume play but it's anything you make it to be you know there's no rules basically however you love expressing yourself in the form of like you know, dressing up, that's cosplay. Really, really. So what a shame, if I can, um, so let's say I throw a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer costume, I'm good for cosplay? Yeah, you know what, yeah, if you want to cosplay Rudolph, <laughs> go for it. Nice, nice. All right, so um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, how long you been in a cosplay game? Um, so I've been cosplaying professionally a few years now. Mm -hmm. um, I think it started 2013. Really? Yeah. How have you been enjoying it so far? Um, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. The community is amazing. The people that I met have been amazing. Um, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So, just curious. Um, I see you have a Wonder Woman outfit on. Yeah. Um, very nice, very nice. Um, what is your fascination with Wonder Woman? Oh, gosh. Um, I think she was the very first um, Justice League heroine that I saw, mm -hmm. you know, when I was little. That um, kind of speaks to you, you know. She takes no crap from anybody. Um, she's just a very inspiring female. I feel like that's what women all seem to look up to. Somebody that's strong and independent and... And she's quite sassy if you actually read any, you know, New 52. She's a, she's a sassy one. She is. Yeah. So, for the young, up-and-coming female hero, uh, heroines, um, superheroes, why should they look at Wonder Woman as an idol? Um... She's been around for a very, very long time, and she's evolved as comic books have evolved, as you know, people have evolved. Um, and I think she sort of reflects that, you know. Um, I mean, personally, I'm just I've always been sort of obsessed with, uh, you know, mythology, Greek mythology, um, and all that. So I kind of love that that's sort of, you know, her origin is that of a, a warrior and you know, you know the whole you know the whole idea of amazons and all that very fascinating to me <laughs> nice nice all right um very good i'm actually looking forward to the wonder woman movie um i have two daughters I'm so excited i'm so excited i really hope this is the one where dc does not let you down yes yeah, so you hope you're listening dc do not mess this up. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to a great Wonder Woman experience. I mean, I did not think uh, Batman and Superman was as bad as everyone else seemed to. Mm -hmm. um, but there's definitely something left to be desired. And I hope that this is the one that, um, you know, they do right. They do right by the fans instead of, you know, the Justice League movie. Looking forward to it. The right way. I hope so, too. All right, so, Sophia, yeah. um, training for cosplay. In other words, how long, as a professional cosplayer, how long does it take for setting up to for you? Like, 
setting up costume, makeup, hair? Depends on the complexity of the costume, mm -hmm. but for me, it's a very long time. I mean, as a female, I take a long time to get ready, period. Mm -hmm. But uh, when there's costumes involved, uh, especially if there's body pains or, you know, there's little last minute problems, which there always is. Like right now, I am missing a breastplate. It always happens, you know, there's always unforeseen uh, circumstances. Really? All so right. it's, you have to add on an extra hour. Whatever you think you can need, you need to add on. An hour at least. So how long did it take? How long did it take for you to get ready for today's interview? Mm -hmm. Um, I was up all night doing homework, so I haven't even slept to be honest with you. Really? Yeah. So um, I kind of just started getting ready at um, six a.m. Really? Homework? Yeah. What type of homework you were doing? Um, I'm in grad school, so I you know try to balance all of my cosplay responsibilities with um, everything a scholar. school, yeah. Being a scholar. Yeah. All right, so you're much in grad school. Um, what are you pursuing your degree in? Um, finance, my MBA right. in finance. Really? And account management. Really? Exciting stuff, exciting stuff. What do you like about it? I d <laughs> um, well, um, I think it prepared me to market myself a lot better. Really? I like numbers. I think we all like numbers, especially positive ones as well. Yeah. Women in cosplay. Um, I've been to a couple of Comic Cons. The, uh, the last one I've been to was East Coast Comic Con in the Meadowlands. How do female cosplayers work to, you know, Better, better, better themselves as well as benefit themselves in uh, the comic industry or the comic con industry. Um, well, I think we're all very, very supportive of each other. Um, it's there's just like a really big group thing going on in a good way, you know. Um, there's a very there's a lot of body positivity. There's a lot of um, just you know. There's like a no shaming whatsoever. Um, just like an amazing group of uh, group of women that are very supportive. Really? Yeah, because it's hard enough um, as a female sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. uh, especially in the whole yeah, geek culture and all that. Um, so it's you know we get enough crap from people as is. So it's um, the girls that do pursue it are just. So lovely, you know, very, very supportive of each other. Can you um, give us an example? Like, um, has can you give us an example of a conversation that you may have had with the girls that, hey, don't let it down, keep moving forward, any type of positive conversations you recall? Um, well, I mean, for example, um, I think I was in a Chun Li costume or something, and someone says, hey, Chun Li doesn't. Uh, I forgot what it was about the costume, they're like, oh yeah, Chun Li doesn't, doesn't do that or whatever. Um, and I think um, my neighbor at the time, um, she, you know, just chimed in, you know, like actually, you know, da 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 da. And um, not that it matters because cosplay is wherever you make it to be. So, you know, there's stuff like that. A lot of like we, we defend each other basically. That's awesome. That's awesome. Are there any uh, female cosplayers you'd like to give a shout out to? Um, oh, there's so many. I just don't want to single anybody out because then my friends will be like, why didn't you shout me out? You say the whole group. You just say, hey, whole female cosplay community. Yes, the whole female cosplay community. Mwah, love you. Um, now, men, noticing from my tour of the Comic Con that men are slowly or have been taking the Comic Con industry by storm. Um, it looks awesome. I like it. Um, how how do the female cosplayers and the male cosplayers work together or interact with each other to grow the cosplay community? I don't think there's really a gender divide at all. You know, 
Awesome. Um, we're we're all basically friends, you know. Mm -hmm. It feels that way. So there's no like what women do, what men do, you know. Hell, we even like wear each other's costumes sometimes, you know. What is what is gender bending? Uh, gender bending is just basically taking a costume that belongs to a character that's traditionally of one gender and you know throwing like a rule 63 spin on it where how would that person be if they were the other gender really yeah well, that's amazing um have you ever gender bend before oh all the time that's my favorite what was your what was your first Gender bent Spock. Really? Um, I didn't know it was a cosplay. It was just um, this was before cosplay was really a thing. So it was just um, costume that I put together. Uh, yeah, it was a gender bent Spock. How did you like it? I loved it. It was so much fun being a Vulcan. Um, my dad raised me on Star Trek, so it was fun to. Pay homage to that. So you're a Trekkie. I'm a Trekkie. Really? I mean, yeah, I guess so. I didn't even like realize it until you said it earlier today. Like, yeah, I guess so. You like Vulcans? I love Vulcans. I love Vulcans. Vulcans gotta do right. You gotta do it right oh, with, the, with the thumb out. Yeah, okay. there you go. Does it work like this? Yeah, I guess so. Awesome. Oh, nice, nice. All right, so um. Fun. Grad student, cosplayer, loves Vulcans. Is there anything Sophia Savon can't do? Mm. Wake up on time. <laughs> That's it? That's it. How does one continue to do the things that you do and still maintain? your balance in life? I mean, it's tough. It actually is really tough. Um, I don't get a lot of sleep because of it. Um, very, very busy schedule, but it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Now, you mentioned you were a very curvy girl. Um, I'm sure when you go to cons, you get noticed a lot by a lot of people. How do you, how do you manage, like how do you manage, well let's put it like this, okay so at cosplays, I mean at Comic Cons, there's a cosplay is not concerned. Right. Um, you being as popular as you are, how are you able to navigate those individuals who sometimes may not acknowledge the rules and regs of Comic-Con um, cosplay policy? I mean, I've only had, most people are super respectful. I've only had like a handful of incidents, like not a handful, of, one, maybe two, you know, so for the most part, people are great. Awesome, awesome. Never really had any major problems. Good job, America, and those individuals who go to cosplay, good job, good job. All right, and remember, cosplay is not consent. Be yeah. respectful and mindful at all times. So let me get this straight. Grad school student, MBA in finance, Trekkie, loves Vulcans, loves comic books and movies, he pops. Loves the dark side. Loves the dark side. And you love video games. Yes. You are probably every person's dream. I think there's a lot of us out there. A lot. A lot. I think girls nowadays are way more into that stuff than, you know. Awesome. Awesome. <sighs> Sophia. Yeah. Do you have any advice for any uh, females who are up and coming in cosplay who want to participate in com cosplay? Uh, don't be afraid. Uh, do something you love, first of all. Um, not something just you know popular, which you could do as well. But really, 
you know, celebrate what you love. And that makes it more fun. Um, and don't be afraid, you know, don't be afraid to wear something that you're not sure, you know, is my body okay for this or whatever. Um, it doesn't matter. You know, you just, the important thing is you're having fun. So do something that you love. Celebrate it with people that love it as well. And that's it. Favorite uh, workout book? Deadlift? Um, deadlift, squats. Love my squats. What's your max? Ah, I don't discuss that. 500 pounds, okay. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Exactly. I'm Wonder Woman. No, it's not 500 pounds. It's more like 5,000. 10 tons. Woo! Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Sophia, um, I just wanted, I just want you to know it has been an honor interviewing you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And on behalf of FYE, we'd like to thank you for hosting us. Thank you very much. Um, please show her to come in. We have a lot of great deals and a lot of inventory for Pops on sale. All right. This is William Brown, Region 99. See you guys later. Bye-bye.